Friends, Romans, countrymen, welcome back to my channel. Don't worry, I'm still working on my big project, but um, I'm kind of at an impasse at the moment because I'm waiting for my mic that I ordered to arrive and the package got delayed. So there's that. Um, and also, I have some stuff to do today. I'm, I'm, I'm in Hermit Crab Corner today because I need to do some stuff to their tank. Um, I'm about to go on vacation pretty soon, so I want to get them squared away. And I'm like, well, if I'm just sitting here, I, I kind of miss gabbing at the camera, you know? And also, I, I want to give you something instead of just disappearing and, and leaving nothing while I'm working on stuff and while I'm on vacation. So yeah. Oh, the thing I'm doing also is this is their old net, which is fine um, before I doubled the height of their tank. And so now I have this new net that I made and I'm going to sew them together. So... That's what I'm doing today. Uh, you're probably also wondering why I'm wearing a Christmas sweater in October. My collection, which includes this lovely ugly Christmas sweater. Actually, it includes a lot of ugly Christmas sweaters, some cozy and cute holiday cardigans, family matching pajamas, holiday loungewear. It's honestly like my Christmas gift to you. It's very, it's very on theme. Um, the, the problem, the problem is that, um, it is 72 degrees and I am already sweating and I just started, like I just put this stupid sweater on. <laughs> I am wearing shorts, um, which therein lies the problem, huh? Because it is hot, it is October, and Anna is out here advertising her, her Christmas sweater collection. It's not just sweaters, I think there's also cardigans and, um, like pajamas and stuff. But broadly speaking, it's mostly Christmas sweaters. And I'm like, ma'am, can we please get through Halloween at least? It is October, I have some notes, but it is October um, and she's already marketing Christmas sweaters. And I'm like, girl, please, please let me be spooky for five seconds. But I, I did wanna show you the funniest thing I think I've probably ever seen. Let's say you are not like a big kitsch girl, right? You wanna be more like subtly holiday. So that's where this sweater is perfect for. Subtle? Girl, subtle? Just plastered in hose? I understand that she's an influencer and this is her job. And like her, her job is to advertise things and this is a big opportunity for her. That's, I don't have any problem with that. I don't have any problem with her doing her job. Just like, just like from a, like a fashion critique perspective, which who am I to critique, who am I to critique fashion, but here we are. I, I don't know, they're, they're kitschy, but not in an interesting way. Like, oh, this one's got llamas on it. Oh, this one's got a dog on it. Oh, this one's got Santa in a, a van, I think, on it, a camper. The colors are nice, but it, it's just kind of boring to me. And also, I, I did click the link and just to, just to see how much they cost. And these sweaters are $45. I, I've definitely seen worse. I don't think that's the worst thing I've ever seen, but like I got this sweater, I don't know, for like $3 at Goodwill, back when things used to cost $3 at Goodwill. You're supposed to go to a thrift store, find a, a, the ugliest sweater your grandma would have worn in the 80s. That's what Christmas is all about. The other thing about <laughs> this video that's just funny is, well, I couldn't say it any better than this person's comment, which says, her Christmas gift to us, which we have to buy ourselves. <laughs> this, this video in particular is, I think, possibly one of the first times I've actually seen her respond to YouTube comments, at least since I've been watching her, besides addressing controversy occasionally. She was actually like liking and and posting like replies in her YouTube comment. Like, have we ever seen her do that? That's crazy. To be fair, it's the same three comments, which is heart emoji, thank you, or addressing all of the people who are like, these sweaters are way too short. And she's like, well, I'm 5'10". You have to remember that I'm 5'10", so they won't be as short on most other people. And to that I say, well, I think perhaps one of the reasons that this sweater it looks so short on her, all the sweaters and stuff that she tries on, is because I don't think she's uh, wearing the correct size for her. That's, that's something that she does often. I don't really, I don't really comment on it that much. Like, there's a reason I don't really talk about her fashion content because I don't, I just don't have much to say about it. Like, 
wear what you want, do what you want, I don't care. Uh, she does often wear things that are very short and seemingly too small on her, and that's her prerogative. But I think in this very specific scenario where she's trying to sell her own collection, I think it's actively working against her because there are countless comments that are like, this stuff looks cute, but it's so cropped. I, I, I don't want to wear a sweater that's so short and like, agree, like I'm short. And even then I don't want, I, I want a sweater that's like oversized and baggy on me clearly. And a lot of people in her comments are like, yeah, like, why are these sweaters so short? And she's like, well, I'm tall, I'm tall. And I honestly don't think that's true because on her, they're, they're not just short, they're, they're pretty tight, tighter than a, a sweater usually is on somebody. And, and I'm like, wow, your audience is full of people who are like, I would have bought these things if they weren't cut that way. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is actively like, damaging her marketing, which is, lee, yikes. And they do go up to a 5X, like, this is a very inclusive line, and I really don't think she's wearing a 5X, like, I think a lot of people exaggerate about how big she is, like, she, she is a very large lady, but I think sometimes people exaggerate a little bit on exactly how large she is. I don't think she's wearing the biggest size, which is a 5X. Um, I, I can't speculate on what I think she's wearing, but I don't think it's 5X. I think if she sized up like one or two, it would look totally fine. It would look a lot better and it probably wouldn't look so short and you wouldn't have those people in your comments that are like, why are all these sweaters cropped? But okay, that was, that was point one. Well, that was probably a few points, but <laughs> the main point that I, I, I also wanted to make in this video is that this, this whole Christmas collection thing just really pointed out to me how how pointless her her newsletter is because on Monday, October 7th, she posted this uh, short that was like, ooh, top secret thing I'm working on. Ooh, sign up for my newsletter, be the first to know. And I did get the newsletter on October 7th, on Monday. And it was literally just it was literally just an ad for, for this, this collection, which is fine. It's her newsletter and that's news. She can do whatever she wants. But imagine my surprise when literally the next day she posted more shorts and like TikToks, whatever, just showing the whole collection. Uh, what was the newsletter for? I got to see things exactly one day early. I, I, I could have waited probably less than 24 hours to get the exact same information. There wasn't even like a discount code for the collection or anything as far as I can tell like nothing extra nothing special for the loyal I don't know three of us that signed up for her newsletter well there was one advantage to being signed up for the newsletter and that's that we got to purchase from the collection one whole day earlier than everyone else so which would have been the 10th instead of the 11th I'll give you a moment to pick up your jaw off the floor Oh, actually, though, there was one more thing uh, in the newsletter that, you know, just an advantage for the few of us <laughs> who signed up. Uh, we did get a discount code for the rebounder that, she, that she's been posting about lately, a little trampoline thing. And I'm like, okay, so this newsletter is just yet another method of advertising, which, again, she's an influencer. That's her job to advertise. I understand. But, like... This is a newsletter supposedly for your like most loyal fans and like we we don't really get anything out of it at all like not even just like I don't I don't I don't think you need to have like perks for people who sign up for newsletters like monetary perks like I don't think it's a big deal that she didn't give the people in the newsletter a discount code for her Christmas sweaters whatever but w what I was kind of expecting was like I don't know a little bit more personality, something something unique that you wouldn't get anywhere else. And I guess you could make the argument that she did give us something that no one else got. Like she gave a list of like some Christmas things that she likes. And that's fine. I I thought that was slightly different, but then you notice that all the things on her list like there was like a, a Christmassy kind of book and then there was like a, I think a perfume stuff like that. 
but they're all clickable links. And at the bottom of the screen on the email, it was like, these are affiliate, like da 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 da. And it's like, okay. So, so these aren't necessarily just your favorite Christmas things. These are just your favorite Christmas things that also uh, pay you <laughs> to advertise to people. Again, it's fine. She's an influencer. I was just a little annoyed by it, you know? Like, if I were genuinely, like, a fan of hers, I would just feel so, like, I don't, like, used by it. You know what I mean? And also, we can't ignore the fact that, like, she's... She's still monetizing her health journey, which she has been the whole time, but like the the rebounder thing like is it's just like a ni nice way to exercise, but she specifically got it because of her lipedema. I don't know. There's just something so icky about advertising things that are supposed to be for like a medical condition. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, I feel weird about it. I think a lot of people do. I mean, we just saw her go to Arizona and I honestly thought we were just going to get like one big dedicated video about it. And we got like one TikTok and I, I don't think there was any kind of like affiliate thing or sponsorship or whatever, but I have a feeling it's coming, you know what I mean? Let's do my first tea back together. <laughs> this is Dr. Herbst, she's literally the queen. If you don't know anything about lipidema, start with her. So this is a CVAC system, and what it does is simulates different altitudes so you can help reduce your inflammation. Dr. Herbst, who heads up research at the Roxbury Institute, is the one overseeing my session. And also, I, I did mention in my, I made a community tab post where I was like, hey, uh, I figured she was, <laughs> I really did. I was like, well, I'm, she's in Arizona. She's probably going to see Dr. Herbst. And I've been very deep in the Herbst verse, um, doing my big project. So I will be talking about her, um, whenever that video is out. Um, I don't go too much into her little private, um, practice thing, which is where Anna was, um, in Arizona, that pod thing, like that, it's like a motorcycle or something outside, but that, uh, that pod thing is probably a whole deep dive in and of itself, which I would like to do at some point in the future. I just want to know, here's my question. Why is everyone getting in a pod lately? I was just watching, uh, Zachary Michael review, um, the, the first episode of the new season of 1000 Pound Sisters, which I'm also a big fan of that show. Um, I haven't watched the first episode yet, but I did watch uh, Zach's video. He looked so goofy in this little pod. <laughs> he looks like a goofy dapper. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Why is everyone getting in a pod? What is what is going on with that? Not me. I am I am very claustrophobic. You would not you would not catch me in a pod. I am almost finished sewing, but um. I, I am finished talking. I also just want to say um, I, I am going on vacation and I'm going to a state that has been affected by the hurricanes. Um, vacation has been planned a very long time, uh, but uh, the area I'm going to has not been affected at all as far as I can tell, but it does feel kind of weird to go to a state that's been hit by like such tragedy and not I don't know, I, I'm just gonna be on vacation. And like, I do need a vacation. I've been very stressed lately and I've been looking forward to it, but it does feel weird. So I am I am going to be donating to um, the American Red Cross. Um, I just tried to find something that seemed like they were doing some good work. I, I am very grateful to people who watch me and allow me to donate to charities a lot more than I was able to before. Um, I'm very grateful for you guys, for you guys watching me. And I, I hope you're all staying safe out there. Um, if you're able to donate or at least like spread awareness of, of places that are accepting donations, that would be great. But yeah, don't, don't feel obligated to give money that you don't have. But, um, but yeah, I do. So I, I'm very privileged in that aspect of, I, I have, I have this extra income and I, yeah. Well, folks, uh, thank you for sticking with me. I know I, I was gone for a very long time and I'm going to be gone for another very long period of time, but you all have, have still been watching my older videos and I've somehow still been gaining followers throughout this. And I'm, 
I'm just exceptionally grateful. Um, I, I hope to, I hope to see you soon. Uh, obviously I'm going on vacation and I will not be working on anything, but, but yeah, hopefully I will see you in the near future. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you next time. Okay. So here's the net that I made. It goes all the way down to the bottom now. I also built them this little platform. So hopefully they can figure out how to get up there from the net. And they can also go in their little um, little terrarium thing. My humidity looks very low. It's just because I had the door open trying to get everything in there. There's their little pumpkin they like to hang out in. Um, where are they? They're in there somewhere. Let me see if I can... Uh, you can't see them. You can't see them. Honestly, I wanted to be able to show you the babies. Because, you know... Because I'm no better than a family vlogger. I like to exploit my children for clout. Anyway, yeah. There's the little, there's the little crab mansion. Okay, bye. <laughs>